Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Let's continue Verse 256 Let there be no compulsion in religion Truth stands out clear from error Whoever rejects evil and believe in Allah Had grabs the most trustworthy hand hold That never breaks And Allah hears and knoweth all things This verse I want to explain word for word So bear with me When Allah said Let there be no compulsion in religion You know Truth stands out clear from error Whoever rejects evil And belief in Allah Had grabs the most trustworthy hand hold That never breaks And Allah hears and knows all things This verse is addressed to the bloody terrorists The ISIS, the Boko Haram, you know Hello brother, listen up There is no compulsion in religion You cannot go about beheading Christians Or beheading the innocent Or beheading those who do not go to war with you That means those do not oppress you But why you never go to Israel and kill Israel But you go to Syria and kill the innocent people And kill the innocent Christian No, let them believe what they want to believe The truth is very clear There is no compulsion in religion You cannot force people, behead people for not converting to Islam You know You see Allah is not a terrorist But why do you follow the book That make you the terrorist Again I want to tell you If you had followed the imam Through the hadith You know uh, Thinking that those are the Preserved words of our holy prophet You are dead wrong Because Any hadith that contradicts the Quran And you believe in it Then you are the munafik Meaning you believe But at the same time You actually You don't really believe You know You don't believe in what Allah said Allah said Believe in the Holy Quran Believe in this book The revealed book to Muhammad Not the revealed book to the Imam You know That's why all those Muslim You better wake up your bloody idea If you listen up and believe in the hadith that contradicts the Quran You are the munafik, okay Enough said, you don't even need to argue with me, okay This verse is very clear I repeat, let there be no compulsion in religion Truth stands out clear from error Whoever rejects evil See, you reject evil and believe in Allah Had grabs the most trustworthy handhold That never breaks, you see And Allah hears and knows all things Allah is the protector of those who have faith From the depths of darkness He will lead them forth into light Of those who, of those who reject faith, the patrons are the evil ones. You see, you reject faith, you reject Allah. You know, you believe in your imam. You know, so you, uh, your patrons are the evil one. Even though you claim you want to pray five times a day, okay, but you are doing evil. That means you are not being guided correctly. You know. And you have been fooled by your perceived uh, holiness, you know You think you are holy, but actually you are not, you know Because you are still doing the evil that Allah had forbid, you know From light they will lead them forth into the death of darkness They will be companions of the fire to dwell therein forever 
had you not turned thy vision to one who disputed with Abraham about his lot because Allah had granted him power Abraham said my lord is he who give life and death he said i give life and death <laughs> do you know who is this 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 name rod you know said abraham but it is allah that cause the sun to rise from the east do you then cause him to rise from the west Thus was the confounded thus was he confounded who in Oregon rejected faith this guy was actually Abraham was talking to Nimrod you know the king that actually burned him in the fire and the fire touched Abraham not but the funny thing if you read in John 858 Jesus claim Before verily verily I say to you before Abraham was I am <laughs> I am what I am a monkey or what you know but then he ran away when the Jews took the stone if he was god before Abraham why did he run away Abraham was burned in the fire and nothing the fire cooled down for him but why he ran away from the stone you know Christian wake up <laughs> why did your god run away from the small stone it's only a stone you know oh no what a joke you people okay where did i stop that was he confounded who in arrogance rejected faith no does allah give guidance to a people unjust or take the similitude of one who passed by a hamlet all in ruins to its roof he said oh how shall allah bring it ever to life after this its death but allah cause him to die for a hundred years then raise him up again he said how long did you tarry thus he said perhaps a day or part of a day this is ezra you know this is ezra this verse is referring to ezra ezra was allah put him to die for 100 plus years and then allah raised him you know and then the jews say oh ezra is the son of god you know because he was like jesus 3 days and 3 night raised from the dead but ezra 100 years and raised from the dead and then the Jews call him oh Ezra is the son of God you know he said perhaps a day or part of a day he said nay you had tarried thus a hundred years see but look at thy food and thy drink they show no signs of age and look at thy donkey and that we may make of the a sign unto the people look further at the bones how we bring them together and close them with flesh when this was shown clearly to him he said i know that allah had power over all things this is this was prophet ezra you know that the jews took him as the son of god When Abraham said, "Show me, Lord, how you will raise the dead," he replied, "Have you no faith?" He said, "Yes, but just to reassure my heart," Allah said, "Take four birds, draw them to you, and cut their bodies to pieces. Scatter them over the mountain tops, then call them back." they will come swiftly to you know that allah is mighty wise you know allah can raise the dead before you were born you were dead you know the parable of those who spend their substance in the way of allah is that of a grain of corn it grows seven years and each year has a 
hundred grains. That's why you must always give. You know, one dollar you give, Allah will pay you back seven hundred dollars in your future endeavor, either in money or in kind. You know, in kind can mean a lot of things. You know. Uh, Allah give manifold increase to whom He pleases, and Allah care for all, and He knows all things. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to get lucky, you know, luck, you want to have more luck, you spend more on charity. Okay, Allah will give you luck in the future. You know, those who. Spend their substance in the cause of Allah and follow not up their gift with reminders of their generosity or with injury. For them, their reward is with their Lord. On them shall be no fear, nor shall they grieve. Kind words and the covering of faults are better than charity followed by injury. Okay, Allah is free of all wants, and He is most forbearing. So, you want to give, just give nicely. You know, don't need to give like uh, you know, sarcastic. You know, oh, you are poor. No, no, take this money, man. You know, you are hurting people. You know, it's better not to give, rather than you give and you hurt people' feeling. Oh, you who believe. Cancel not your charity by reminders of your generosity or by injury. You see, um, so once you give, if the guy asks for a hundred dollar, then he say, "What hundred dollar? You think what? Uh, I'm rich man. I give you ten dollar. You better say thank you. No, this is injury. You know, you injure other people. If you do not have so much money, just don't talk so much. You know." Just give, okay, brother. This is all I have. Please accept. Okay, people will understand. You know, after all, he will still beg for from other people. You know, like those who spend their substance to be seen of men, but believe neither in Allah nor in the last day. There are people who, in front of people, they are so generous. You know, but behind people, ten cent or so, they don't want to give when nobody is around. <laughs> But in front of people, he will give oh ten dollar, twenty dollar, no problem. He want people to you know praise him, you know. Uh, they are imperable like a hard, barren rock on which is a little soil. On it falls heavy rain, which leave it just a bare stone. They will be able to do nothing with all. They have earned, and Allah guide not those who reject faith. So if you are this kind of person, you are just like a bare stone. You are stone. Nothing can grow on stone. But if you are a nice person, you are just like a tender soil. You know. And after the rain, the soil will grow a lot of things. You know. And the likeness of those who spend their substance seeking to please Allah and to strengthen their souls is as a garden, high and fertile. Heavy rain falls on it, but makes it yield a double increase of harvest. And if if it receive not heavy rain, light moisture suffice it. Allah sees well whatever you do, you know. So it it still depend on how sincere you are in giving money to people, you know. You must be sincere and do it for Allah, you know. Not do it in front of people, you know, for the sake of people. Oh, somebody is looking, so I better give fifty dollar and openly open the note fifty dollar so that people can see. Oh, fifty dollar, you know. Expecting people praise, you know, and Allah will pay you back depending on your sincerity, you know. 
Does any of you wish that he should have a garden with dead palms and vines and streams flowing underneath and all kinds of fruit while he is stricken with old age and his children are not strong enough to look after themselves that it should be caught in a whirlwind will fire therein and be burnt up thus does Allah make clear to you his signs that you may consider okay O ye who believe give of the good things which you have honorably earned and of the fruits of the earth which we have produced for you and do not even aim at getting anything which is bad in order that out of it you may give away something you give something when ye yourself would not receive it except with close eyes and know that Allah is free of all ones and worthy of all praise the evil one threatens you with poverty you see that's why whenever you want to give money the satan will always whisper to you you know hey don't don't give don't give later you yourself got no money you know they will keep on whispering because satan doesn't want you to earn more money through giving you know because by giving you reap what you sow you know you like you reap a uh, one small corn and then what you get you can harvest more corns you know like you plant so a uh, date seed seed of date <laughs> you get more dates right so always don't worry about being poor you know no you never heard any philanthropist became become poor you know? they were in fact become richer and richer you know because Allah pay them back you know and bids you to conduct unseem unseemly Allah promise you his forgiveness and bounties and Allah cares for all and he knows all things he granted wisdom to whom he please and he to whom wisdom is granted receive indeed a benefit overflowing but none will grasp the message but man of understanding okay now let me clear it up now with covid-19 a lot of people are losing job so even though when you lose your job your income is down so it should be the more that you must give you know you know why because in this hard times maybe by giving Allah will protect you from being poor you know protect you in case uh, 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 let me say like you are giving let, let's say your last one dollar you thought oh no I myself I have nothing to eat but when you see someone a poor you know uh, you give you know you give your that last one dollar compared to your friend who also have that one dollar but he never give between the two of you then when uh, even though now it is hard time but sometimes opportunity come across and then you will get the job instead of your friend you know Allah will choose you Allah will surely will choose you because you were the one who had donated but your friend did not so your friend will be poor you know so but that's how Allah save you from being poor by giving you know okay so I hope this is hard time please do give you know 
Don't don't think so much about being poor. In fact, by giving, you are not helping the other people. You are actually helping yourself. Now I give one dollar. I am actually giving myself seven hundred dollar in the future. You know, that means Allah had 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 uh, promised me this seven hundred dollar, be it in kind or in future cash. So then, if you and your friend go and apply for the job, now both of you are jobless. You will get the job, not your friend. You know, because you were the one that gave. While your friend did not, so your friend will be poor, but you will remain. You see, Allah protect you from being poor, just because you gave that your last dollar. You know. Okay, he granted wisdom to whom he pleased, and he to whom wisdom is granted. Receive indeed a benefit overflowing, but none will grasp the message. But man of understanding. And whatever you spend in charity or devotion, be sure Allah knows it all. But the wrongdoers have no helpers. You see, the wrongdoers are those who never give in charity. You know. You see, suppose you walk, you and your friend walk, and then a a small boy, you know, offering his hand. That means he's asking for money, and then you only have your last one dollar in your pocket, you know, and then you still have family, but you give. But your friend also have that money, but your friend refuse to give. Okay, then Allah will save you from being poor, but your friend. Will be poor because he did not give, you know. Allah will give to whom. Allah will give to whom had give money. You know, you reap what you sow. You must sow something. If you don't sow something, you don't sow the seed. How are you going to reap? You know. So don't worry about being poor by giving. Nobody is getting poor by giving. You know. If ye disclose acts of charity, even so it is well. But if ye conceal them and make them rich, those really in need, that is best for you. It will remove from you some of your stains of evil, and Allah is well acquainted with what you do. So actually, charity is also. Will cleanse your sins, you know. See, stains of evil. Evil means your sin, you know. By doing charity, the difference by doing charity and sola. If you sola, some said in the hadith, Allah also will clean the sins, you know. But here Allah clearly said, by doing charity, Allah will clean away your sin, you know. But I'm yet to discover the part where the solar Allah will clean the sin, you know, compared to charity. You know, this is mentioned. Maybe we will discover later. Okay. It is not required of the O Messenger to set them on the right path, but Allah sets on the right path whom He pleases. Okay, this part I want to say. You see, now to those who are debating with the Christian in the forum, <laughs> sometimes there is really no point for you to debate, but you still have to do it. You know, just to make them see. You know, how can you make a blind man see? They are blind. Allah has sealed their hearts. They can never see. You know, they can never see that three is not one. You know, they will say three is one. Because they are damn blind already, they their hearts have been sealed by Allah. They cannot see that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is not the same. To them, it's the same. You know, <laughs> that's the difference between the blind and the seeing. You know, we Muslim we see. Oh, there are three: the Father, the Son, and the Holy Holy Ghost. Then how come the Christians say they are one? You see, you cannot. 
you cannot describe the beauty of a woman to a blind man you know they still cannot see no matter how hard you try to tell them this woman is so beautiful the eyes the nose the lips the blind man cannot see they just cannot see you know because they are blind <laughs> just like the christian their hearts are sealed they become dumb you know dumb and blind and deaf when you tell them no three does not equal to one no they keep on saying no three is one same you know okay <laughs> uh, i don't know what to say man, all these people so whatever allah say is true allah already sealed their heart you know you cannot really you cannot make the blind man see you know whatever of good so here i wanted to say that even our the prophet uh, when was asking that his uncle the uncle that raised him up he was uh, supplicating to umrah to you know to help make abu talib abu mutalib to become muslim you know but then allah said i uh, in the narration that no It is not up to you <laughs> to decide who will be Muslim or not. It is still Allah, you know. That's why I saw one guy, he, one Muslim, he gave up hope on preaching, you know. I say, <laughs> yes, you can carry on give up hope because no use. Because you cannot preach the blind to see, you know. You cannot make the blind to see. And then it is still Allah, it is Allah... It's our role to whether to make them revert to Islam or they remain in darkness. You know, you see, is you get what I mean? So it's not you. You can only do your talking only for formality sake. Whatever of good you give benefits your own souls. See. And ye shall only do so seeking the face of Allah. Whatever good you give shall be rendered back to you, you see. And ye shall not be dealt with unjustly. So, come on, this is the time to do more charity, you know. Charity is for those in need who in Allah's cause are restricted from travel and cannot move about in the land seeking for trade or work the ignorant man thinks because of their modesty that they are free from one you shall know them by their unfailing mark they beg not importunately from all the sundry and whatever of good ye give be assured Allah knows it well those who in charity spend of their goods by night and by day in secret and in public have their reward with their Lord on them shall be no fear nor shall they grieve the Sahih Prophet Muhammad chose To live a zuhud life You know what is the meaning of zuhud life Zuhud life is not like the monk You know The monk is not living a zuhud life Zuhud life If you must strive For wealth on earth But You live a lowly life What I mean by lowly life Is all the wealth that you have You spend on charity Because you are spending on expecting reward in the hereafter that is called zuhud life and the prophet live a zuhud life you know that's why all his wealth are spent on charity he live in a one room small house and the prophet was the caliph you know the caliph the king you know that's why the prophet said oh the european kings they are living in castles But here I am only living, you know, on the small house, you know, because he chose zuhud life, you know, 
not extravagant life because anyway Umrah doesn't like extravagant life you know so if you are having an iPhone instead of a normal unbranded <laughs> like me I'm using Huawei I think Huawei is also, is also considered branded but it's Chinese brand you know cheaper you know compared to iPhone so go for the functionality instead of brand if you go for brand that means you are extravagant and Allah don't like people who are extravagant you know those who devour usury will not stand except as stand one whom the evil one by his touch had driven to madness that is because they say trade is like usury but Allah had permitted trade and forbidden usury those who after receiving direction from their Lord deceased shall be pardoned for the past their case is for Allah to judge okay but those who repeat the offense are companions of the fire they will abide therein so this is on usury already okay i just wanted to stop on the charity okay see you again insha allah